Hi, I'm Bob Alsop with ShopSaber CNC. Around here they call me Router Bob. Today we're on a Router Bob out and about trip. We're in Hampton, Georgia. We're at More Art Studios and we're going to hear another great ShopSaber success story. You want me to practice one or you want to just do it? If you're staying in safety, hiding, working somewhere else, you're not going to get that chance. So you got to put yourself out there. I, I married way out of my league. See, I don't tell her, okay? Oh, sure. Sorry, I'm slouch. When I was in school, my teachers, they, uh, they really believed in me. And they saw early on that I was going to be a much better artist than I was going to be a student. And uh, so they stopped pushing me in that direction and started helping me see that my path was in art. Um, as I got older, I started doing a lot of wall murals for people, which was nice because each wall mural was a billboard that advertised my company for me. I'd always put my name and phone number on it. That started bringing new clients that brought new challenges. And then some of those challenges turned into a 3D request where they wanted things that weren't just flat on the wall, but things that came off the wall. I'd built some houses and done some framing, so I knew my way around tools. Then I took on the challenge, and I knew there's got to be a way to go from an artist full of tools from one of the big box tool stores to a guy that's actually a fabrication studio. And that's how Mortar Studios was born, is when I made that transition and really try to push myself and create things that people can't find. I wanted to be more than just a guy with tools in the back of my truck. So I was painting wall murals and my, uh, a customer, a pastor, had encouraged me to go full time. And I went and talked to my wife about it. And she let me know how much she really believed in me. And that was really all I needed. I just needed that push. I needed that little extra step of faith. So I did, I stepped out and went and rented a shop. I was scared to death. But the very next day the phone rang and I ended up with a job because they were looking for somebody that was ready to go. Somebody that had already stepped out in faith and got out there and I did. And that taught me something about business is that if you'll just be willing to get out there, there's people looking for you, waiting for you to go to work if you'll just put yourself out there. So I did. I, um, I got a job that uh, over the next three summers, it was over $100,000 worth of fabrication for my little studio every summer for the next three summers. And for the first two summers, man, I got my butt handed to me. I was working my tail off. There just wasn't enough hours in the day to fabricate all that work, especially by hand. Um, and then a friend of mine that I recruited to help me uh, told me, he says, man, I've got something for you. Let me show you what we can do. And he let me start using his machine. And we started fabricating on a CNC router and it was just incredible. I had had some experience with a CNC foam machine, but it was limited to what just, it could only cut foam. It couldn't cut wood or, you know, it couldn't cut plastic or acrylics or laminates, but uh, the CNC router could, and it already had a taste of what CNC could do with foam. So a CNC router was just the next logical step. On the, on the third summer of this project, um, I had the machine uh, from ShopSaber rented and it was in my shop and uh, the guy that owned it was off selling. So it was just me alone in the shop with the machine. I didn't know how to run it. But I called Shop Saber and I asked for their help. I, uh, I wanted to be honest. I told them up front, you know, that I was not the original purchaser. I was someone using a machine someone else had already purchased from them. Uh, and they didn't hold that against me. They, they treated me like I was a partner, not like a customer. And I really appreciated that. That meant something to me. There were so many times I was working on a deadline that something would freeze or stop. And it was always user error because I didn't know what I was doing. But I'd call the guys at ShopSaber. They knew their equipment so well. They could just ask me a couple quick questions, talk me through it. We'd laugh and giggle because it was something, you know, user error. And, uh, and they'd get me back online and working and I would meet my deadlines because they were nice to me. And if it was at the end of the day, it didn't matter. They stayed on the phone with me until I got my issue resolved. Um, it didn't take long after that third summer of the money that I made to be able to purchase my own machine. And um, man, I had to go with ShopSaver, I had to. Because like I said, they, they didn't treat me like a customer, they treated me like a partner, and that's what I needed. So it came time to buy the machine, I was super happy. My wife gave me the green light, and um, we made the investment. Uh, we called ShopSaver and we ordered a Pro 408. Uh, it didn't take long to get the machine. And the reason I chose the 408 is because the machine I had before was is, is literally too big. Um, you know, it was, um, it was a fantastic machine, but it took up too much space in my very small shop. Uh, this 408 handles everything that I need. Most of my materials come in a four by eight stock shape, but sometimes we'll get five foot wide material and we can still get five foot wide material on this machine. Uh, that was critical, that was huge. That opened up all the things and all the different materials that I normally use uh, to be handled on one machine. 
Um, I really like the ball screw for accuracy and the tool changer is a it's a must. It's a it's a big time saver. So you don't have to keep manually changing out your tools. Um, then it came time to get the machine. Uh, they had scheduled training for me. I went up there. It was only one day of training, but it was very informative. Uh, I really learned a lot. All the missing pieces that I hadn't figured out yet, I was able to pick up at that training. The guys, they just, they knew what the end users were facing and they addressed those issues in a, in a great way. It really answered my questions. So I get on a plane, I fly back, and here's the cool thing. They were shipping the machine the same time that I uh, was taking the training. So when I got home, they were literally pulling it off the truck with the fort left. And it was like Christmas morning. Uh, it was plug and play. We'd already done our electrical requirements ahead of time. And uh, it's just super simple, very user friendly. Uh, by the end of the day, we were already cutting parts. And I don't regret it for a minute. It's been, uh, it's been a pleasure to have in the shop. I've made a name for myself as an artist, but I have to admit a large portion of the productivity coming out of this shop comes from the signs that people have me make. And there's plenty of sign shops around here. We're all scrambling for the same customers. But once I got the router in shop, what happened was the things that we all subbed out to other companies out of state, now I'm the manufacturer and people that used to be my competitors here locally in the area now farm out business to me. So it's really repositioned who I am and where I am in my current marketplace. And that's been huge. So my studio, More Art Studios, has gone from being a hobby to a legitimate business. And it's because I made good business decisions like purchasing a shop saber. The only problem is I waited too long. If I'd have got this machine that first summer when I had that big account, uh, I'd be where I am now two years ago, uh, which is a little two-man shop hanging with the big boys. Chris, thank you so much for sharing this exciting success story. My pleasure. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you need more information, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. Thank you for watching.